Hi, this is Sean from RP Traders Medical. I'm showing a video today of uh, just one of the portable wireless ultrasounds that we offer as a, a cheaper alternative to other brands on the market. This is the BMV S10 Ultra Portable Ultrasound. Uh, and as you'll see at the moment, this has a, tra uh, has a curved transducer on the end. This is actually a customer's order. At the start of the order, we ask them, do you want a linear or do you want a curved one? It doesn't change in the cost of this actual machine. It's just to your preference. Uh, it comes with a 1.5 meter uh, cable. Uh, and just take this back and just take this out. So if you've seen uh, similar ones on the market, uh, you may have seen one similar to this, uh, uh, which we, we obviously won't mention the brand, uh, but uh, as you can see, they are practically the same size. Uh, there is obviously notable differences on them. Uh, so as such, this one doesn't have a removable battery, but the battery inside does last up to 12 hours runtime. And on top of that, it does come with wireless charging. So if you don't want to get tripped over wires and you've got a, a portable wireless uh, base charger, uh, you can put it on there. The base charger does need to be Android to be compatible with it because these are essentially Android devices. Um, and just coming down to the bottom on here, uh, you actually have your just like a rubber seal underneath here and you look under that rubber seal and you've got a USB-C charger which is pretty handy uh, it's qu quite a universal charger out there and very easy to get hold of so you know you're not stuck by OEM's um, uh, Pacific cables which then you'll have to go back to OEM to purchase which uh, I think uh, you know it, that's a great feature so uh, just moving on uh, and you see at the top of the dial here you've got your buttons uh, so your power button, you just long press and that'll turn on. And then on on these sides, you've got your gain and your depth. And then you've got your freeze uh, uh, to control. And these are essentially to control the options within your goggles. Um, if it is a case that you've just bought an ultrasound and you just simply want to plug in and play, that's absolutely fine. Plug in and play. Uh, goggles will turn on, connect to this straight away and off you go. Um, so I'll just take this off here. And I'll just go into the goggles. So just to go through this. Uh, so firstly, when you first get them out of the box, I would recommend that you adjust the dial. Uh, they obviously make them quite small to fit them in the box. Uh, pull the dial out. This will adjust the head size. Uh, what you'll find with this um, is uh, it actually comes with a tilt. So what happens is, say your head's in here and you want to adjust it down or it for a good one if you want to adjust it upwards so you can see in front of you you can do that so that's that's it actually tilting it's pretty good that because i noticed with imv you actually have to take the entire helmet off to see what you're doing in front of you um and it's got small adjustment on those now just moving on uh, to what actually is packed with uh, so just on the top here you've got volume buttons and i'll show you why you've got volume buttons in a minute and this one here is like a back arrow again i'll show you what that is for uh, just moving on underneath so the volume button controls the speakers that are in here the speakers are for using the pulse wave doppler which is built into this um, and then just on this side here you've got your your micro uh usb this is for charging and also for exporting images on the right hand side you've got the power uh power uh button and then on top of that is a mic uh the mic is so that if you want to have earbuds in because you can't hear the ambient sound with the speakers uh and just quick ones that you can see there's the little gadgets in here so these are little sensors and whatnot just to, to ensure that it, it does the contrast right inside uh, and it, obviously it, it sets the right brightness and it does that automatically uh, and you'll see here that is a protective uh, uh, plastic shield that covers the other lenses underneath uh, and this is one of one of the uh, cool features i like about this because i noticed on other goggles you just get the lens and if you crack the lens you go replace the goggles with this one if you crack this pl plastic bit here we'll just replace that plastic bit here um what else you get with that is uh, this thing on front of here is actually it, it, it does have it does have a purpose this blue bit here this blue bit on front of it is uh to put uh to make it darker inside the actual goggles if that get damages over time there's about four or three three or four of them in the box so you can just replace that bit whenever you need to um, and that is your goggles now i'm just going to quickly show you inside should already be connected 
Um, and they're going to show you a bit of a gimmick that they've added on there that they never told us about because they said, hey, it's a free upgrade. If a person, if the customer wants to use it, can use it. It's, you know, it, it's, it, it's a cool feature and we thought we'd add it. So inside, that's your goggles. You can see they are actually connected at the moment. Quite bad. I can't quite get my camera to uh, focus on that because I've got the uh, the iPhone and, and it, it changes lenses every time I uh, try to get closer to it um, and it doesn't quite focus in. Um, so just to just to say one of the features that they've got is you might not notice it uh, and is you sort of see that indentation underneath there. That is actually a touch screen function. So that basically means that where the center, there's a, like a little knobble, knobble there. Where the center is that if you're like if you're scanning away uh and you can't reach your button on here if you double tap it it'll screen freeze uh the the the, the image um and you can actually control go up and down and left and right you can control with that one it is it is okay so you've seen the goggles and you've seen the device uh so what what's next well, you could just turn it on and start scanning. You don't need anything extra to start going, going and scanning. Uh, it's just simple. Turn on. It will automatically connect to this device and away you go. However, if you are looking for to get more out of the device, well, we've already included that. So we're going to have a quick look at what your extra you actually get when you buy these devices. So just to take that off. Uh, so uh, firstly... Uh, the, we actually include a brand new Samsung tablet with the latest uh, firmware on there and it's all already set up with the app on it and on your phone, uh, sorry, on your uh, device, it's already set up. So if you just flip that around, you can see on the back of it, it has a 360 spin as well as a stand if you want to stand it up on something. And also, if you don't know, if you notice on this, you've got these hooks. These hooks are for a strap that actually comes with the device. Uh, just show you right here so this strap allows you to strap it to your chest and on a sunny day if you if the sun is obviously shining and as you can see the reflection off the uh, tablet you can't see because you are seeing black and white images it, it will you will find it quite hard to read the tablet this is the sunshade you put that over around the side of the actual tablet while, uh, while it's strapped to your chest that should help with that issue so take that off there. Obviously that's your yard. You do receive a heavy duty nylon belt. This is for your device to, to strap onto that. Or you can use it, your own device, your own belt if you've got one. Uh, it's fully adjustable for any size. You've got all your chargers. Uh, so what you've got here is you've got your charger for your Samsung tablet. You've got your charger for your uh, device here. And you've got your charger for your goggles. But what else have you got? You've got a charger for remote. So we have this remote control. Again, a little bit like the touchpad that's on the side of the goggles. Uh, they've included a, a an Android remote. This remote uh, allows you again to control the functionality within the goggles. Uh, when I obviously first looked at it, I thought, oh, it's an Amazon remote. Uh, because the last time they had an ultrasound like this, uh, the, the remotes were a lot smaller and they just had a few buttons on it. I think there was around about this big and a few buttons on it just to do your freeze uh, and go through your options. So you can, again, still control uh, the goggle uh, goggle uh, options within the uh, within the menus. So as it look, turns, so if you've got here, you've got like a little cursor button, you press that once and you should be able to control your options within the device uh, uh, or if you don't want to use that you just use the up and down to uh, control the the depth and gain so again it is a function they've added a keyboard on there i think in hopes of um, if you want to complete the diagnostic information uh, within the the goggles of the the cattle that you're scanning that you can uh, use this function uh, each to their own. I, I personally, I, I'm I'm not really great at using these little keyboards. I've got them on TV, and uh, I to this day I've never used them. Uh, you, you know, I guess it would take great practice for me uh, to to get used to them. Uh, so uh, so that is an option, uh, you know, to use. And it is it, once you first get your tablet, you might find yourself using it and then stick with it. But it is an option that's in there. So. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to show you uh, so the goggles themselves, uh, how quickly they they actually connect, uh, and uh, 
and then I'm going to show you the, the tablet itself and what it is you're actually seeing through the goggles. So how easy is it to get going with these devices? Well, really simple. Uh, as the manufacturers preset everything in and pre-install the tablet and pre-install the uh, connections to the device itself. Uh, so simple a case of turning your goggles on and turning your device on, they will automatically connect and you can get going. If you're not looking for get into uh, all the technical details and you're just looking to scan it, that will work just the way you want it to. Now, if you do want to use the tablet rather than the goggles, there is that option. So how we will do that is simply, we would power down the goggles using the remote control or the side tab on here. We'll power them down. And then what we do is we turn on the tablet device, which I'm going to show you now how that works. So they are connected to the goggles right now. Uh, and I'll just turn these off right now for you. Like that, there we go. I've got to go into the options now and just turn that device off. There we go. Right, that device is now powered down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the tablet device and just flip that up. And as you see on here, you've got an app on here. It is a Samsung tablet, so you've got your app on here. So what we need to do is we'll just tap onto that right now. Uh, there we go, so it says the Wi-Fi is not turned on. That's probably right. So if I just turn back to my settings, Turn my Wi-Fi on. So you don't even have to use these tablet you got. If you have got your own Android device, you can use that. As you can see straight away, if I just show you the uh, BVA VA673, that is now connected. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our ultrasound. Now we, what you wanted to see is what was what was it look like in the goggles? Well, as you look here right now, this is what you're looking at. Now that might actually see with the reflection of my image, it's quite difficult to see. So what I'll try to do is try turn off the lights and see if that works a little bit better for your visibility. So what we'll do. Okay, so this is what it actually looks like inside the goggles uh, and as well as on your tablet. Uh, so when uh, you come into the device and you've actually connected your tablet this is the view that you have you will not see uh, any uh, image come through here or interference because there is tape on top of the probe um, so what we've got on the left hand side here you've got your game and your depth uh, you can control these within the tablet itself above that you've got the mode so you've got your pulse mode and you will see this by this long uh, scale coming across here uh, and i'll just switch that one back uh, so what options do you get uh, as, I, as I was talking in the video about uh, if you're wanting to simply just scan you can just plug your goggles in and start scanning if you are looking for more then the tablet is going to be one of the options I would recommend you can use the goggles to go through the options and put all the information in uh, but I do re but I do recommend that you use the tablet just because it's, it's easier to do so um, so if you have a quick look at what we have available so starting from the bottom right hand side uh, you do have your grid lines that you can put on and you can turn that back off uh, to the left of that you do have your guideline you can set that guideline to however you like to do it or you put your calibration on there take that off tap you've got your uh, information on the top of here is your depth your gain and frequency if you do want to change your frequency you can go into the preset settings to do that or alternative just tap this arrow just here just tap that there and there you go you've got your frequency your focus your position and you can change all those settings within uh, this device here now if you are looking to do a scan and then a diagnostic what we look at is at the top of here is your diagnostic information if we tap onto that apologies it uh, might not uh, be the clearest uh, with my camera uh, just there. there we go so this is the diagnostic screen. So when you've done a scan and you'd like to complete the information about uh, the animal, you can do that. If you're not uh, doing cattle, uh, you can choose to do another uh, animal group that are others is available, uh, but uh, essentially you can fill all that information in. Uh, when you start the scan of the ultrasound, you do get a choice that you can choose to do a different scan, which I will go into and I'll show you how that actually works. As you can see along here, you have these different examinations. 
uh, and I'll show you how you can essentially uh, choose that examination and complete the information for that tab. So I just exit out of this. So what we will be doing is, is if you're carrying out a scan right now uh, and you want to freeze a frame and fill out that information, you would simply press the freeze option. On the left hand side, you have obviously your comments, body mark, measure, uh, save your cine, which is save your uh, uh, media, your video that you've just made and then report. The body mark is for marking where the actual uh, your calf is and you can mark that and save a, a shot of that. Uh, the measurement, it does offer quite a few uh, different measurements for you. Uh, and there, so you've got your distance, ellipse, and so forth. There you go. So you've got uh, all these different options that you can choose. Um, and what you essentially do is, if I put a spleen right now, so I've got distance, distance, I'll just tap that twice. So I've got distance. If I tap the distance on that, I can measure the distance. If I tap the spleen, I then can measure the spleen. And so on. You can add as many measurements as you want. And then what you do, you then just press save and it will save all those measurements in. Uh, once you've added your picture, you've added your measurements, your body mark, You it, it, once you press save, you can essentially press report. Uh, when you've done your report, you've got your diagnostic information from the other menu, you've got your images, and that will all be generated to report if you want to send that on to a vet. If you need a second opinion, that is an option for you. Or, or personally, if you just want to create your own records of your cattle, that's an option for you. Uh, so just coming back out of that, I'll just take that back into the live mode. Uh, so if you look at the top left, the, it, it sort of that's a picture. That just means that you can use all that you can go through all the pictures that you've taken. Um, and so if we tap this here, this green icon, that is your probe that's connected. So if we tap the probe right now, it's telling me what scans can I do with this probe. So all these options at the bottom here, you can do the scans with that probe. So when you choose a different exam, so if I go for cardiology and I press OK. You'll notice that the screen actually changes and that changes because it's changed it's, this will change the depth the gain the frequencies and it's all changed on this side as you can see um, and that does it for the actual exam so for example if i go down to nerve now you will notice that it will change there we go we'll change to h4 and the frequency everything changes on that so what it does it presets all the settings for the different scans you want to carry out so it, it, it's very informative uh very cool feature that you do so that means you don't have to go in yourself and change all the presettings you just tap into the examination and you can change whatever examination you're doing and it will change the settings for you uh, come out of that one there if you uh if you want to do your own settings and you want to uh set up your own presets just come across to your options and then your preset and here you can actually set up all your presettings for the device uh, you've got your system parameters if you want to change a language or the channel select if you want to change the orientation or you want to uh, disable the probe buttons when it says disable the probe buttons it means that on the actual device itself you can disable them uh, you've uh, you've got uh, your information. Oh, cool feature! If you want to send a report and you are that and you are branded, you can actually upload your own uh, logo uh, onto the reports. Uh, you can have all your information, so that uh, also gener generates onto reports that you do send out to um, uh, obviously your patients uh, or obviously to vets. Uh, and and then back over to the screen here, and then you come back to your live image. If uh, if you then want to obviously save, oh, let's go back to this one here. There we go. If you do want to then go across and use your goggles, what we advise you do is you just tap onto this bit here and you just press disconnect. Uh, if you, you just you can disconnect on this one here and what it'll do, it'll pop up the menu. And what we advise is you just turn off the settings, you turn your Wi Fi off. This means that. If you turn your goggles on, it will then automatically connect back to the goggles uh, and vice versa. And that is how uh, you use the tablet.